So it's been a year since I posted the original review of these uh, X-Rocker wireless gaming chairs and uh, there's been some comments about the analog inputs and what consoles it'll work with. So I'm going to do a little additional information to hopefully help people there. Um, but right now I'm going to redo the review um, or kind of update it as in how did the chair do after a year later. Um, so let's take a quick look at that. So first, we'll look at the seams. Um, it's, you know, the fake leather is cracking here. It's even worse here. Um, but overall, the rest of the chair, um, it's like this part is probably a little sloppier than it's supposed to be. But that's from grabbing the chair, you know, and, and moving it around the room, pulling it by the arms, um, stuff like that. Uh, probably not handling it the way you're supposed to but uh, realistically the chairs I think is holding up pretty well um, and I want to show real quick another uh, how I sit on it a lot so in most of these videos I'm sitting in it in the proper way um, this is how they expect you to you know play games and rock in it but a lot of the time I actually sit like this as well um, just because it's you know if I'm working on my computer using it as a computer chair or whatever I want to sit up straight more um, and I'm just more comfortable like this at the same time um, I think the chair is rated at 250 pounds uh, I weigh two probably 210 and I've had my daughter who weighs another 40 pounds on it and uh, that earlier when I recorded the video I weighed even more and we, we sat together so I don't know how they rate or you know what the limit is but it's clearly more than 250 um, and I haven't had any problems so uh, I sat like this in it a lot I sat in it the correct way a lot uh, both ways you know that member is still there um, like right now I can feel it on my foot but you know I can play World of Tanks for a couple hours like this and it doesn't bother me all right so I have to move the TV anyway so since I have it off um, I'm going to explain the transmitter a little bit better, or hopefully, um, and ex show the back of the TV. So this is just a standard 1 8 inch um, audio input, and it comes with, you know, this adapter to go to RCAs. Um, it comes with a 1 8 to 1 8, so you could plug it into an MP3 player or anything like that. So it comes with, you know, a few a few different different options. Um, in this example, uh, this, this TV, like I've been saying, has an analog out. So because this TV has this analog out right here, um, which is, it, it, it can take any input. So even though, you know, my Xbox and Ouya and everything are HDMI, because the TV has this analog output, I just use the appropriate cables. So for in, you know, and this is going to hook into the TV, and the other end goes to the transmitter. So now anything that goes into my TV is going to come to here, which will transmit to the chair. Um, so it's not; it has nothing to do with the console, really. If your TV has audio outs like this, any console will work. If you don't have a TV with audio out then you'll need um, console cables that support uh, analog audio. So for example, here's a, th another section. This over here is called component. So you've got um, red, green, and blue video inputs to make up your video signal. And then you've got an analog left and right to make up your audio. So if you have a component cable for your console, you would run the video, the three cables for video into here, but instead of running your left and right audio into here, you would run them into, you know, this on the wireless. Oops. So you need these, these adapters. You would plug the left and right in here so that it comes to the transmitter. 